Um, right, we're here with um, Stuart Borley after a very eventful game, you could say. Um, I'm not sure how long you've got, Stuart, before you've got to be home, but talk us through that game. Oh, where do you start? No, I th you know, it was certainly value for money, should we say, for the spectators. Um, I think that uh, we should have, you know, being honest, and I think anyone in the ground, including their staff and fans, could, could argue that we should have been well out of sight um, first half, um, let alone by the end of the game, because the amount of chances we missed was um, incredible, um, being brutally honest with you. But as I said uh, in an interview earlier, I think that um, it's important we look at the positives because it's a lot harder as a manager to kind of coach um, players when they're not creating chances and to work that into your game. The important thing is we are creating them and we're creating lots of them. So it's just, just about having that cool composure uh, like we did for the, the final two goals. Um, earlier in the game to make sure that we are uh, ahead in games rather than trying to chase them all the time and, and that's what we need to work on. Okay, um, I don't know about you but I always felt that would come eventually if we carried on just biding our time and being patient yeah. and doing our thing. And that was the message at half time, you know, it was very much that um, we needed to do exactly the same things, you know, nothing was broken first half other than just a cool finish and a cool head in front of goal. So. The message at half time was just to keep getting the ball wide, keep getting the ball down and playing the, the good football that we were playing and then make sure we were continuing to, you know, keep things locked up at the back, which I felt we did really well because we didn't allow them chances, um, which is which has really been kind of the cornerstone of what we've built over the last seven or eight games is, has been a really solid platform at the back and, and I think that shows on our sort of goal conceded record now. Um, so we built from the back and the message was to just go and do the same things but just to have that little bit more quality in, in, the, in the sort of final pass or final cross. Excellent and then uh, obviously the goals come very late in the end 88 and 91 I think it was in the end so uh, yeah, yeah. Um, must yeah. be delighted at the end. Yeah we, we left it late you know without a doubt um, but as I said no one could argue that on balance of play we deserve to win that football game and 2-1 and really doesn't do, do us justice either so really pleased for Nani to get a goal and, and obviously Hem, I think it was Henry scored the, the second the, the winner um, although it, you know it was bouncing around in the box all the line had flagged so, that had gone over and he was so, running back yeah, when, so either Henry or Zach yeah. but you know that, so that's pleasing and, and I'm just pleased for the players character you know they're, they're such a together group and to go and win late on is, is what really good teams do and that's what we're starting to become. Okay, excellent. Um, one quick mention, uh, one disappointment there yeah. was Zach Brown at the end there being sent off. Yeah, Zach, Zach's got a real edge to his game and he just needs to learn when to when to show that edge and when to be calm. Um, I don't want to take it out of him because it's a, it forms an important part of his makeup and, and you know, to have that as a, as a player, you need it to be at the very top. So we don't want to take it out of him, but he's just got to learn to control it a bit better and, and, and make sure he's affecting the games in the, in the right way for us. Yeah, um, but at the end of the day, that's another win. That's six in a row, seven out of eight, uh, 22 points out of 24. Where do I stop? Uh, ninth in the league now, and games in the hand still. Looking rosy. Yeah, it is. You know, oh. we, we've had a we've had a good run of games. You know, we've had we've had teams that are perhaps not not right at the sharp end at the moment. Um, so it's important we temper um, the excitement over six and seven wins with with the realism that you know we're playing teams that are, are, I expect us to beat. You know, albeit they are very good sides and we need to work hard to do it. But um, you know, we're now moving into a spell of games where. We've got teams coming up that are in and amongst us, and, and I think over the next four or five games that will really tell you where we're at as a squad. Yeah, um, bit of a break from league action now on Tuesday, and the Velocity Trophy away at Cray yeah. Valley in South East London. Yeah. Um, you expect to take a decent team to that one? Yes, you know, um, I think inevitably there there will be a couple of you know a couple of three changes probably, and and we will look at giving players some minutes, but. It, it will certainly be a first team squad we take down there with with the addition of the sort of uh, three or four of the under 23s that have been performing well and pushing 
So, you know, it's an opportunity for them to come into the squad and, and show what they can do, which is, you know, exactly what we want to try and do. Excellent. And then uh, next week away at Haybridge, back to league action. Yeah, as I said, you know, good teams coming up, teams in and around us. Um, you know, I think that they were 10th before today's game or 9th or whatever it was. So very much um, where, where we are in the league. So again, it will be a really, really tough that game down there. Um, looking forward to playing against Reese Henry, who will we'll come up against. So yeah, it'll be a tough game and looking forward for it. Okay, right. Thanks so much and congrats again on today. No problem.